Hey guys, so in this video we're going to go over how to graph a step function. A step function is just a type of piecewise function containing all constant pieces, and those constant pieces are in the forms of horizontal lines. Uh, you should notice that it kind of looks like a staircase. We have a horizontal line here, and then the next step here, then the next step here, and then the next step here. This step function is an example of a discontinuous graph. That just means you can't draw this graph without removing your pen or pencil from the graph. Some things that you should notice is that right here when x equals 1, you're going to have a closed circle and an open circle. When x is 3, a closed and open. When x is 4, closed and open. You're going to notice that pattern when you see a step function. And sometimes it can represent a function and other times it won't. For this example, you're going to see that this is an example of a function because it passes the vertical line test. When I go to x equals 1, it's a closed and open circle, which means there's only one point or one y value when x equals 1. When I go to 3, although you see two points on that vertical line, one is open, one is closed, which represents a function. And then again, when I go to x equals 4, you're going to see two points. However, one is not included right here. When x is 4, it cannot be a 10 because it is an open circle. But when x is 4, you do see that the cost would be $6. Now let's look at how to graph a step function. So when you see a step function, you're going to notice that it's going to be y equals just a singular number. And whenever it's y equals a number, that's going to give you your horizontal line. Okay, so let's look at the first piece. f of x equals negative 2. If you are unsure what that looks like, you go to y equals type in negative 2. When you hit graph, you're going to notice that horizontal line. Or when you pull up the table, it's going to give you y values of negative 2. So this is saying y equals negative 2 from 0 to 2. When x is 0, we should see that it has a line underneath, so that's going to indicate a closed circle. However, when x is 2, that's not really included, so we put an open circle with that. The next component or piece is f of x equals negative 4. So we know the line y equals negative 4 exists only when our x values are from 2 to 4. To show what's included and not, the 2 would get the closed circle because there's a line underneath the symbol. And then the 4 gets the open circle because there is no line. And the last piece of this function is when y equals negative 6. And that exists from when x is 4, 5, and 6 that we graph. And then again, the 4 has the closed circle, the 6 has the open circle. I just wrote a quick note on the bottom of the screen while I pause the video. So let's go to actually graphing it. So we're going to start with this first piece of negative 2. So I'm going to go down to the y coordinate of negative 2, which is right here. And I'm starting at 0, negative 2. I'm going to put my closed circle on 0, negative 2. And I'm going to put an open circle at 2, negative 2. And I'm going to connect that with a straight line. There's no need to graph or plot the point 1, negative 2. Um, but if you prefer, you can. You're just usually not going to see it like that. The next one is the middle piece. So y equals negative 4 from 2 to 4. So I'm going to go to 2 and then negative 4, put a closed circle, 3, negative 4, 4, negative 4, put an open circle and connect. And then the last piece is graphing the line y equals negative 6 from 4 to 6. So I'm going to go over to 4, down to negative 6, put a closed circle and an open circle. 1x is 6, and connect those pieces. Again, I am not going to put an arrow here because our domain tells us only from 4 to 6. 
And the same goes from the other pieces. Let's look at another example. Okay, so the first piece says, grab the function y equals 1 from 0 to 1. So I'm going to include 0 all the way up to 1 in my x for my domains, and that's the equation y equals 1. So our y coordinate is going to be 1. 0 has an open circle, while 1 comma 1 has a closed circle. The next component is y equals 3, or g of x equals 3 from 1 to 2. So 1 has the open, 2 has the closed. The next component is the line y equals 4 from 2 to 3. And that has an open and closed circle. And then the last piece is graphing the line g of x equals 6 or y equals 6 when x is 3, 2 when x is 4. And again, the 3 has the open circle, the 4 has the closed circle. So now we're going to graph 0 to 1. So I'm going to go over to x equals 0, up 1, put an open circle to 1 closed circle. Now for the next component, when x equals 1, I have an open to close. Then for the next piece, when it's 4 from 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, open, closed. And then my last piece is 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, open to closed. Again, no arrows on anything because I have a start and a stop. Okay, so now for evaluating. This is saying when x equals 1. What you're going to do from here is going to take an imaginary line and go to when x equals 1. You're going to scan up or down until you reach a closed circle. So for this problem, g of 1 when x equals 1 or y value is going to be 1. For the next one, g of 3 means when x equals 3. So you're going to scan over to x equals 3. Go up or down until you reach a closed circle. And for this problem, when x is 3, your y coordinate is 4. And then the last one is saying when x is 3.5, that's between 3 and 4. So you're going to go scan up and down until you reach a closed circle or a line. And for this problem, when x is 3.5, your y value is going to be 6. And then the last one is a situation word problem where we're going to take each of those four bullets and create a step function. So for this problem, I'm just going to call it f of x equals, we're going to do our big curly bracket, and this is going to be our x values or our domain is going to be the ages, and our y value or our f of x in this case is going to be the cost or the admission fee. Okay, so for the first line where it says children five years and under are free, the cost is going to be zero dollars and the inequality that represents that is from the age, oops, from the age zero to and including five years old. The next component Ch children between 5 years old and 12 years old are $10. So $10 is the cost, y equals 10, and that's saying when the kid is from 5 to 12 years old. The next part, children between 12 and 18. So that cost is 25 between 12 and 18, including 18. And then the last part is saying adults are $35. So the cost is $35. And that's saying once you are 18 or older, so your X values are going to be 
greater than 18. Now that the step function is created, it's time to graph. So what I need you to do is count how many lines are across the bottom and how many lines are across the top and try to come up with a scale. So along the bottom, there are 20. So I just counted each line as one. One box is one unit. And then along the top, there are 20, but it needs to go up to 35. So each line is going to be two, but I labeled every other, uh, I labeled every five as 10. And again, the bottom is going to be your ages. And the left hand side is going to be the cost or the admission price. To graph the first one, zero dollars from zero to five years old. The zero we did not include because if someone is zero years old, they're not going to cost any money. So we're going to put an open circle at zero and a closed circle at five. Once that person turns five years old and one day now they're in the next bracket so that's why we did not put a line underneath the symbol here for when y equals 10. so at five years old and one day technically they are the next bracket we put an open circle at 5 comma 10 and then a closed circle at 12. Now for the next bracket, when y equals 25, that's from 12 to 18. 20, 2, 4, 8. it's going to be in the middle of 24 and 25. So at 12, open circle, 18, close circle. Connect. And then the last component at 35, is from 18 and on. So we're going to go 30, 2, 4, 5, put an open circle. And this is an example of when we put the arrow at the end because we are not stopping at 20 years old. We're going to continue on past what the graph allows you to do. All right, thank you for watching.